All right, guys, today I'm going to do something a little different than I usually do, and it's kind of like a uh, attempt at a, a lift of sorts, and admittedly, I watch a lot of uh, Todd Hutchings' videos, and I listen to what he says, because he's got a very contrasting idea of arm wrestling to me, which is great, because I liken our sport a lot to MMA, and I think... You could be a great boxer and be the king of that domain, but be open to the wrestling side of it. If you close your mind off to those other avenues, you start limiting yourself. Anybody who thinks they know everything truly shows they know nothing. And that's the philosophy right there that I live by. I'm always in that mindset of learning. And Todd's a great guy that while he may not understand what I do in my realm, I appreciate his theories on strength gain and strength pursuit. So I watch his videos. Some things I agree with, some I don't. So it's like anything. Take the good, leave out the bad. Things apply to him, they might not apply to me. But I, I do appreciate it. And what I also really appreciate is his um, integrity with the lifts he does. From everything I've seen, he does it. He's very, uh, he has a lot of integrity. He does lifts that seem to make sense on the table. And if he gets too far away from it, he doesn't do it that just for the sake of moving a number that looks great for YouTube, which makes his numbers much lower than his strength would indicate. Because there are guys out there doing side pressure pulls with 200 pounds, 300 pounds, and he's running through them. Fucking running through them. So what's real? What's a real side pressure? What's a real pull from like the top of your knuckle? Or with a, with a low supinated kind of rolling handle. This guy's doing like 80, 90, 100, 110. You're seeing guys elsewhere that can't hold a candle to him doing double that. So what's real? Which is great because I want to talk about the new guys who watch these videos and they're like, holy fuck, there's some guy out there in my weight class pulling 200 pounds. But look at the integrity of the lift. Look at how he's doing the lift. Does that ever make sense on an arm wrestling table? So the reason I'm doing this is I just watched one of the videos and I was I was just very curious. And I've had some elbow issues in the past and some tricep issues. Just things, man, getting old, wear and tear. You try to work through it and, and, and it's starting to feel a little bit better. So I saw a particular video Todd put up there about, it, I think he called it like Travis style, like high knuckle side pressure. So that's grabbing a strap. I tried to put the height right about where I saw his. This pull is closer. But I looked at about the angle, and he did like 100 pounds. And I don't want to be like other people that go and have implications on Todd. I think he's got great side pressure. I think he's got great uh, whatever. I've done my time of implications and, and, and kind of like the back and forth with us. I respect what he's doing, and I just, uh, I'm curious what... 100 pounds feels like in that lift because my side pressure has been coming around as I've gotten healthier and stronger. And it's a high handed, like upper knuckle, Travis Bajan, how he preaches high knuckle side pressure. So when you talk about any kind of side pressure movement with the side pressure king, this isn't a Ryan Bowen thing, but it's a me thing. And I'm going to give it a spin. So that's a 200 pound stack. It's stacked out. Divided by two. I like chalk in everything I do. I even beat my meat with chalk on. So judge all you want. All right, we're starting in the middle. Right up over the knuckle. Strap over the knuckle. Fucking cramped in here, but seemed like a lift. It's good weight, though. I feel it. Misconception is top rollers don't have side. My argument is you can't arm wrestling. You can't arm wrestle at a high level without side. I don't do this as much, but hey, I was curious. So, truth be told, I appreciate the content that's put out there, and I I love to test myself. That's how I've often fucked myself up is coming down here, testing myself on fucking lifts that I shouldn't be maxing on cold.
I kind of like it though. That one was good. Dubai or bus, motherfuckers.